So here's a fun game I like to play when I don't have a lot of space or I don't want to have to think about complex setups for anything or if I don't have a lot of equipment but I got a Kato board. I have, I'm a big fan of rubber bowls. Um, the cookies don't bounce out of them as much as if you had had a plastic or ceramic or, and they don't make the noise that a stainless steel bowl would make, which that some, some dogs find that aversive. So I've got a bowl on either side of me. I'm sitting stationary in the middle. And I've got three cones set up to kind of pave the way for my dog. If your dog is just learning this, they will very quickly learn that cookies only come from either of the dishes. So the object of this is you want the dog to go around the cones, up over the Kato board, back around to a cookie. They get a click once they hit the Kato board, brings them around, the, cook, the reward comes in here. Then you send them back around. You can lure your dog in the beginning. And as they get better with this, you can stand. I'm sitting so that I'm in the camera view. And I tend to do this a little more spread out and I start to add other pieces into it. And it can be household items. And so the farther out I can get the cones, the easier it is that I can start stacking things in there. So I may, as we push things out, I may put a sofa cushion over here and I have a balance pad on this side. So, so it's just different surfaces that the dog is going up and over. The sky is the limit with creativity for this. Um, you can put one single Cavaletti in there so that they have to hop over it and they start to learn their spacing and where their feet land. Um, I am a huge fan of this and we do exercises in this particular setup with the bowls and cones probably three times a week and I'm just constantly using different pieces of equipment in there. But the Kato board or the plank is, is usually one of my base pieces for this exercise. So to get them started, throw a reset cookie so he's off camera a little bit. And I'll show him cookie goes in there. And I'm going to have cookies in both my hands. And I'm going to say, get out, go around, go, go, go. And I click, and the cookie goes there. And get out, go around. And even sometimes... They will put one paw on it. Ready? Get up. Go, go, go. Nice. Get up. Go. Cheater. Cheater. He's cheating. When he has more room, he's better at this. Ready? Get up. Go, 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 go. Okay, get up. Go, go, go. So even doing it with one paw, one side of his paws on it rather than the other, even that is pretty good because they're getting a sideways balance, but you just want to make sure that they're doing that in both directions. He's kind of cheating a little bit. Ready? Go, get out. He's doing both paws on that side. And let's see, I'll move in a little bit, see if I can, ready? Go. There you go. He just needed a little extra encouragement on that side. Ready? Get out, go. Ready? Get out. Go, go, go. Yes. Now that time I use less of my body to help him out there. Ready? Get out, go. Go, yay. Good job. So you can easily swap this one out for the plank. And it gives a little bit of a different feel. I'll move it out a little farther so it's not on the, the board. This gives it a little bit of a different feel because it's narrower and longer. So now he's got a different entry and exit. He's got to be a little more careful as he's going across it because it's a, a narrower surface. So we'll grab some cookies. Okay, ready? Go here. Okay, ready? Get up. Go, go, go. Get up. Ready? Get up. Go, go, go. Go, go. Get up. Go, go, go. Nice job. So I hope that gives you some ideas for how to use two bowls, a set of cones. And once your dog gets the hang of it, you may not even need the cones. But in the beginning, it's nice to have a little bit of a barrier there so they can be more successful on their own so they're not coming in and being told, no, you have to go back out again. So if you need more cones, you can set them up that way. I got these at like a $5 below, five below store. Um, and they're quite useful. I have them on hand all the time, and they're just a good... Good bar visual barrier so my dog understands more of his path.